Hello guys and welcome to a very short video where I will talk basically about the Curse client. Uh, I got a question about my Minecraft game setup, how I work with the mods and so, so on. So I just make a short video to show how I do it. First, I go to curse.com and I download the, the launcher. And it looks pretty much like this picture here. So download, install and I mean, add your settings. And once you start it, it will look something like this. And the good thing with this, and just to be clear, this is what I use at the time with all my, when I do tutorial packs and when I work with the uh, like Let's Play series. So at this moment, the only launcher I use is the Curse launcher for my Minecraft videos. So, hello, T the real TKH, <laughs> thank you. Uh, here on the left side, this client updates all the time, but I think they sell for this design right now. So here on the left side, Minecraft. And there are some other other stuff as, as well, but Minecraft. Here we are. And when you get here, the first time you will have nothing here. You won't have any packs or anything. But as you can see, I have quite a few. And uh, if you compare to a traditional launcher like the FTB launcher, this one is very similar and in some ways better. But perhaps there are uh, uh, things that are missing here as well. I haven't explored it fully, but. Uh, Let's say you want to play a pack. Then there are basically one way to do this. You can browse, well, two ways, but it works the same. Browse all mod packs and browse the FTB mod packs. So for example, FTB Infinity Evolved. You will find it under FTB mod packs. And well, it was in the top. FTB Infinity Evolved. So if you go into it, you can read about it and all the things, and you can install it from here. The good thing with this, to do this, is that you will get everything and you will have a separate profile. So if you want to play another pack, it will be totally separate. So if you can edit this one and you can create a new Infinity Vault with some additions, perhaps, this is a quite good way to do it. And I haven't tried doing several versions of the same packs, but I, I, it should work. Uh, so I'm using mostly playing the Dark Trilogy, as you know. And uh, you can see all the mods installed and everything. Uh, right. No need to go into that right now. And um, let's take a look at the other way to do this. The custom profile. Uh, so let's make one. Profile name, temporary profile. Choose your Minecraft craft version. 1.7.10 was the default apparently, but there are mods and uh, ways to play the other ones are, as well. But let's do the 1.7.10. Pick your forge loader. Um, probably the latest one, but if you have some custom uh, downloaded mod, then you might need to check what version you should use. But I will do this. Okay. And it should show up. Temporary profile. And let's check it. Right now there are no mods installed since I haven't added any. So right now it's Minecraft and Forge. And we can actually play it like this. There's no um, nothing stopping us. And as you can see, we get the launcher and this launcher will be different for every, every instance that you have. Uh, all these are called instances. And uh, if you check with your explorer, this is where the curse uh, folder for uh, where I have my apps. Uh, inside Minecraft, inside instances, here we have them all. The temporary profile is just created. It doesn't really contain anything, as you can see. No mods, no nothing. But as soon as I hit play, it will download everything 
that you need. All right? Of course, it will take some time the first time you do it. Uh, where is it? Oh, I guess it's loading. Yep, here it is. So there are no mods loaded except for uh, like FML and Forge and stuff. But you can play it like this. And you can have a separate profile for, for uh, these vanilla packs, so to say. All right. Three mods loaded. Coder pack, modeler, loader, forge. All right. Um, but we can actually do stuff now. And if we go into this temporary profile, we can get mods. And this it is this simple. Wayla, a common mod that I use. Click on it. Install it. Read about it. And it's done. So as you can see here, if we go back to the profile, Wayla is now added. And now we can see it here in the temporary profile mods. Here is Wayla. I can disable the mods. Simple as that. And then if you take a look in the explorer, then you can see that it's now it's dot disabled. And turn it on again and it will be enabled again. So and th this can be quite useful when you are uh, when you have problems and things are crashing. So you can do everything from here. Another good thing is, let's see. Does Tinker Construct have if there are dependencies? Uh, yes. Yeah, Tinker's Construct. The uh, it requires Mantle to run, and since I downloaded Tinker's Construct, the Curse Loader knows that knows this and will download Mantle for you. So this is very very convenient, and. Not only that, you can actually download mods uh, separately. So if you take a look at my tutorial pack uh, mods, and then we have this one. Yeah, let's download, get more content, A2, applied energy 62. Great. And then you can see is this RV2 or RV? It should be RV2, right? So if we go back here, it is RV3 beta 6. So this one, wireless crafting terminal, I have done a spotlight on it before, and it is it comes in two var it comes in two variants, RV for RV2 and RV3. So let me take the RV3 one and go back to the temporary profile that we created and add it here. Here you can see that we have, uh, can we expand this? Yeah. It's still disabled as it was over here. Um, and it's for RV3. It looks like there's an update. We can, uh, we can enable it like this. Hmm. Can we update it like this? What, did I have an old variant? Uh, we got the RV2. So that part didn't work. Um, <laughs> and it was replaced. So let's put the old one and we can disable the RV2 version and then enable the RV3. Are they... Oh, yeah, it did update. But now it's installed and now we can play it. And this works fine, probably with all mods that are in Curse. And they, hopefully they can keep track of the Forge and so on. Um, but you can also, as you can see, you can also add your own mods that you have downloaded separately. And uh, hopefully it uh, will work good for you. Let me just load this up and see that it works and we can... Oh. Ah, good. Then we can demonstrate this as well. Um, 
so something didn't work the way it should. Uh, probably could be some uh, something um, some old ver version. I will uh, double check that and be right back. All right, let's try this again. Um, looks like there was a problem with Tinker's construct actually. So I'll just restart this and uh, well, you get the crash log and you prob probably know how to look through them and find the clues. In any way, this is quite a convenient way to enable and disable the mods so you can do your well, your detective work. So if this just works, then I will just demonstrate it by creating a world and then we are finished with this video. So in case you wondered how I work with my mod pack uh, or mod packs, how I played with them, then now you know and I hope this helps you in some way. Create world. This should be the final proof that it works. <laughs> Well, I think we can call this a successful demonstration. Um, now it's downloading. Anyway, that's it for now in this short video. I hope you found it interesting. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.